All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, we've had a whirlwind of information coming at us, but I'm going to help you sift through all of that. The good people at NBA 2K News, the insider, not D-Man UNT, but the actual insider, they have decided, yeah, that's the inside joke with me and D-Man, man. Let them know what I'm talking about. They have gone through the takeovers, and uh, they've been kind enough to break them all down and put them into this nice little spreadsheet where we can consume them and see them. We're going to be going through all of that right after this. So if you don't do anything else, make sure you like the video because you're going to like the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notices because we're dropping the 2K heat every day of the week, at least twice a day, man. And I'm going to holler at y'all in a second. Lito! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. Now, if y'all don't know, man, um, I got a hilarious video coming up later on about the aim bots and all this stuff, man. People keep going, accusing me of using a damn aim bot. You see slightly left, slightly right, slightly left, slightly right. Bro, what, what are y'all talking about, man? Anyway, the grip people at NBA 2K um, News and the, Inc the 2K Insider, they posted this graphic here, man. And this graphic is... Um, it's a graphic of all of the takeovers. I, I, I posted the graphic, but it was a little bit too small there. But check it out, man. This is all of the takeovers, and um, the takeovers broken up into the uh, into the different different joints. So the first thing we got, we just gonna go through these, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna just kind of briefly just go through them. That's all we're gonna do. So check it out. These are the slashing takeovers. You got advanced gathers. Advanced gathers unlocks more effective spin, euro, hop steps, cradles, and all of that good stuff. Uh, finishing moves, able to absorb contact and finish at the rim. Uh, you got, you got, that's the one I like, finish him. Uh, let's see, easy blow bys enhances the ability for slashers to beat defenders off the dribble. You gotta love that, man. Like, if you're a slasher, it's looking real good for the slasher gang, man. Y'all already know I'm part of the sniper gang, but, you know, it is what it is. Up next, we got uh, power of the post ones. Power back downs. Easier to push defenders around when posting up. Uh, you got post playmaking. Uh, boost, your team, boost your teammates' offensive abilities when passing out of the post. That's gonna be pretty dope, man. I think it's gonna be a good one because you know you post up and you wanna pass out of the post. When you draw that double team, you're gonna wanna be able to kick it out. So that's gonna be dope, man. Uh, dope, man, dope, man. Yeah, that's me. Uh, let's see, advanced post, advanced post moves. Easy to beat defenders with post moves. So that's gonna be cool. And uh, post shot daggers. Increased scoring ability with hooks, fades, and shimmy shots. That's probably gonna be the one that most people are gonna go after right off the bat, man. I ain't trying to see that though, man. And then people gonna blame Shot Aven. They literally gonna use post the post people to get Shot Aven taken out the game, man. When post post the post has been stuff. It's, it's been a problem since the beginning. But anyway, uh, on to the shot creating. We got precision pull up boost, well time uh, slash aim shots off the dribble, uh, ankle breakers, ankle breaking shots, move. More ankle breakers off of spins and step back jumpers. Uh, negative impact reduces the defensive impact against pull ups and uh, and other skill shots. So that's gonna be dope, man. The people like Tassino, when you see him, he's probably gonna pick up. Maybe he'll get the ankle breaking shots and the negative impact, so he can get both of those. That's gonna be dope. Hey, shooters gonna shoot, man. So let's get right into these badges, man. Uh, limitless range. Bro, y'all already know what the limitless range is, man. With limitless range, you can pull up from extend your range, extend your shooting range out to the logos. That's gonna be out to the logos. That's gonna be dope. Um, spot up precision, boost well time slash aim stationary shots. That's probably the one that I'm gonna be taking, man. The spot up precision because that's the one that I I'm gonna do. I'm not. I, well, I'll probably be taking both of them. Maybe, nah, I just take spot up precision because I don't take crazy shots. But I do want to be able to catch that ball just like that and fight that gas. That's what I'm talking about. Like my boy was adding in Louisiana. Say, I got to add him to the intro too, man. Um, up next, we got the playmaking joints, man. You got uh, team uh, team ratings boost. Uh, the playmaker bo playmakers boost their, their teammates' offensive ratings. Uh, team takeover boost. And it says uh, boost your team's takeover meter progress. And then last but not least, you got the, you got the team badge boost. And you can boost your teams, uh, boost your teammates' 
badge up a tier. That's gonna be cool, man. But I think that I think that most people are gonna take the one where you can where you can boost the team offensive ratings because nobody really worried about boosting up a badge of tier. Like who's really really worried about whether or not they're gonna boost up a badge of tier? That's the power of quick first step right there too, man. You get by your guy and then you uh you you kick it to the corner for the for the cool sale. That's that's what you do, man. Uh, up next we got. We got the uh, defensive ones, man. The lockdown joints, man. Extreme clamps, more stone wall than lost dribble body ups. Uh, resolutions for the locks. You got the uh, perimeter lock, the perimeter badge drop, which is knock knock shooting badges down a tier when you're close. I don't like these aura badges, man, but hey, they bringing them back. It is what it is. Enhanced jump shot contest, and it just says boost your ability to contest jumpers. I ain't got no problem with that, man. If the dude is a lock and he gets on fire, why shouldn't he be able to just take the game over and do some stuff like that? So I, I ain't really got no problem with that, man. Um, then we got we got the rim protect one. Uh, you got the, you got the stuff blocks. Stuff blocks unlocks uh, unlocks more swats, backboard pins, and grab and grab blocks. So you know you get the snatch blocks and all that good stuff right there. Uh, paint intimidation boost boost your ability to affect shots around the rim. That's going to be dope right there, man. Check this out right here, man. He probably think I'm cheating right there. But look, it's just excellent time and slightly right. And uh, last but not least, we got interior badge drop. Drops opposition's scoring badges down a tier in the paint. I'm definitely not going to be using that one, man. I'm not even going to cap to you. Like, why? Why would I use that? Um... I don't want to drop your stuff down a tier in the paint. I, I just want to protect the paint, and I don't want you to be able to really do a whole lot about it, man. I wanna, I wanna just let me let me adjust that just a little bit, and uh, you know, we gonna we gonna roll that back because we need to roll that beautiful bean footage back real quick, and then we just gonna do the last one, man, and uh, which the last one is uh, box out wall improve the ability to steal to seal. Uh, improves your ability to seal off opponents for easy boards. That's gonna be cool. Uh, let me see. The other one is see the future shows where the ball is going. You obviously know what that is. And then the glass clearing dimes after a rebound, kick out the pass, uh, kick out passes, boost your teammates shooting. Bro, that's gonna be dope, man. Because that's something that people felt like should have been in the game the whole time. And I'm not gonna lie to you, man. These takeovers are looking real, real spicy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad that we actually got these in the game and uh and that they're splitting them up because somebody like me just think about it i'll be able to get the uh i'll probably get the stuff blocks or the or the paint intimidation uh paint intimidation which says boost your ability boost your ability to affect shots around the rim i can affect shots around the rim i get another block or something like that or do stuff blocks get another block now i got now i got the double takeover or once i get it up there then i can um well dang once you pop it you can't even do you can't even go for the for the double takeover but hey i just i can put on the badge like i'm already looking at this thing like the ways that i can frankenstein this joint i can put on the badge where i can put on rim protector because i'm gonna have a high enough stats to have rim protector on like hall of fame or something get a couple of blocks put on the badge where i can shoot the ball you know where you keep shooting the ball and uh and and then you know you can get you keep shooting the ball and the more that you shoot the ball the more your takeover goes up. I can have that badge mix those together with rim protector, a couple of blocks and a couple of jump shots. I should be a double takeover. And now I can shoot, I got spot up precision or I can shoot from limitless range. I'm out to the logos and you're not scoring on me. This is gonna be so dope, man. I just hope that they implement it the right way. And I hope I'm correct as to, I'll be able to have Hall of Fame interior badges and have Hall of Fame shooting with enough shooting ability to be able to do something. I hope they don't screw the big men over like they've been doing. But if they do that, then you know I can make a bill like I want to make. Do you think that's going to be the meta bill? What do y'all think is going to be the meta bill this year for big men? Because I would think that the, that the glass lock would be it. Like a lot of people had the glass lock last year, but then a lot of people didn't because they couldn't shoot the ball. I would think that if you can get like 85 plus shooting and very high defense, I don't know why that wouldn't be the meta bill. Just like with guards, it's going to be a little bit different, though, because y'all got a lot more to think about. You got to think about, you know, dribbling. You got to think about shooting. You got to think about your speed. Big men don't have quite as much to think about. So, you know, we can probably take some liberties that you guys get. But you let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. What do y'all think is going to be the meta bill? Is this a W right here? And uh, how did you enjoy the breakdown? And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, please.